Hello, this is a short presentation just to show that GPS and geodetic surveying are of the greatest and most testable of all flat earth proofs. This is a tangent plane. This is the starting of all surveying. Okay, all geodetic surveying starts with a tangent plane, right, laid onto a pre assumed sphere earth. This is a completely flat and horizontal plane, and this dotted line to to it is the zenith from a 90 degrees angle a 90 degree angle above the tangent plane this is brought to the center of the tangent plane this creates a perpendicular to the tangent plane so this vertical creates the, uh, uh, creates a perpendicular to this horizontal creating right angles now these right angles are necessary because geodetic surveying and gps always map everything out in what's it, what is known as uh, oh, sorry what is known as xyz Cartesian coordinate systems and this XYZ Cartesian coordinate systems uh, system sorry is always referencing a flat and motionless earth always it is the same coordinate systems that are used for pilot train uh, sorry for uh, pilot uh, software uh, sorry for the software for pilot training uh, in the uh, uh, that they use in the uh, um, in the um, simulators, sorry, it's the word I'm for in the simulators. So the so the pilot training software is always in a, is always referencing a flat and motionless plane as they are using Cartesian coordinate systems. <clears throat> now, so once they have established the, the tangent plane, uh, the hor this horizontal plane here, and they have established the vertical of the zenith to the center of this tangent plane, they, okay, they they then right should go straight to here and create a Cartesian coordinate system okay this is what would have been the tangent the, the horizontal plane here and this is the zenith okay coming down to meet the horizontal plane right which creates as a tangent plane which creates uh, right angles uh, which is known as purple it basically is creating a perpendicular of the of the vertical to the horizontal okay which always creates right angles this uh, this is uh, an X, this is using X Y Z this one which is a 3D Cartesian coordinate system it also can be done in X and Y but it is done by GPS and geodetic surveying and used in planar surveying as uh, as 3, 3D uh, sorry X Y Z so it's a it's a <clears throat> three dimensional uh, Cartesian coordinates it always it's always made into they always make um, when they're looking to find a cor uh, coordinates they're always put into these rectangular boxes I won't go into the to the to the uh, the reading of this it's not important at the moment it's easily easy it's a very easy they're very easy coordinates to read and very easy to learn about okay so this is what they should do straight after this point but they don't okay because they have a pre-assumption of this sphere so what did they do instead of going straight to, tar to Cartesian coordinate systems they are here they have this pre assumed sphere on this this green box is your is your horizontal right plane this is the zenith creating the tangent to it this is the tangent plane okay so the zenith comes to the center of the tangent plane okay um, and from here this whole tangent plane here becomes this a Cartesian coordinate system okay but in between those two points, in between the tangent plane and zenith to the center, in between that point and the actual Cartesian coordinate systems point, they add in what is known as earth centered, earth fixed coordinates, which pre assumes a radius value and pre assumes a, uh, pre -assumes a sphere with a radius value of 3959 miles. So all the zeniths, okay, to the, to the tangent planes always come to the center of this pre-assumed sphere so if you have another tangent plane next to this what happens is that zenith will also go to the center of this pre-assumed sphere so they will always have everything mapped out in flat everything will be mapped out as a flat out always okay with gps and geodetic and planar surveying always mapped out as flat okay but they will be able to show that they have diverging zenith angles but that's only because they have pre-assumed the sphere Okay, if they didn't pre-assume it, they wouldn't have these diverging zenith angles. So consequently, this is their proof of a globe. But it's only they only have diverging zenith angles because they have pre-assumed the globe. 
they have never proven this really is they, they it has actually been completely disproven by the black swan photographs they have never proven any of this or they've never proven this radius they've never proven this sphere or curvature uh, they keep proving that it's not there they keep proving a flat earth with gps and a geodetic surveying uh, and obviously planar surveying those three things are constantly proving a flat earth the only proof of a supposed globe they have is the pre-assumption of when they bring the zenith angle to the tangent plane they bring the zenith angle from whichever part of the sphere they decide to put it on into the center of the supposed sphere and that allows them to have a divert they allows them to always map everything out in flat but have a pre-assumption of uh, uh, sorry have a pre-assumption of a sphere and have diverging then because of this pre-assumption they have di they can have the diverging zenith angles to back up this pre-assumption so when when you're told that divergent zenith angles proves a globe it doesn't it proves that they're adding in ecef earth centered earth fixed coordinates okay in between the stage of of establishing a tangent plane and a zenith to the center of that tangent plane and making that tangent plane into a 3d cartesian coordinate system you know all satellites all geodetic surveying Oh, sorry all geodetic surveying and all satellite supposed satellite systems all use the ecef cartesian coordinates okay what they call a cartesian coordinate system but ecef coordinates are just are just a pre-assumption adding the x y and the x y and z into a sphere they're not actually cartesian coordinates because they don't reference a flat and motionless earth they just reference they just reference the center of a sphere they just pre-assume the center so consequently, uh, ECEF is not Cartesian coordinates. It's just an it's an add-on to allow for the belief in a sphere, and that's all it is. So geo GPS and geodetic surveying are always, always, always proving flat out, always, and nobody nobody can debunk that. They have to first prove this radius that they've pre-assumed. They have never proven it. It's only ever been disproven. So they have to prove this radius. But right, as well as prove all the curvature and everything else that they don't have, that they keep on disproving with the use of Cartesian coordinate systems. What this also does is it allows for them to change this, these Cartesian coordinate systems once they get them, because they've already pre-assumed the sphere with the ECEF coordinate systems. It allows them to then take these Cartesian coordinate systems and change them into geographic coordinate systems, also known as latitude and longitude, which is based on a sphere. And change them to other other projections and other coordinate systems as it suits them but the the, the cartesian flat out xyz coordinate systems are that the gps and geodetic surveying and planar surveying all use or they all right they all always reference a flat out first so geodetic surveying and gps are always referencing a flat out always it's then converted to whatever model or belief they want to convert it to and they do this with the use of the ecef coordinates that they add in between the two stages of the establishment of the tangent plane and and turning that into 3d cartesian coordinates they add it in between okay so adding in radius they're inserting r there is no proof of this r it's just inserted as a pre-assumption they're proving flat out always so whenever anyone says that the G, that's, sorry, whenever anyone says that geodetic surveying or GPS proves the globe, you can show them this and show them no, it proves 100% that we're on a flat and motionless earth. Never proven the globe, it pre-assumes the globe, completely different. Pre-assumption is not proof. End of story. So, in conclusion, ECEF coordinates, which are used by all GPS systems, are always a precursor to flat out XYZ Cartesian coordinates. But ECEF EF coordinates are always added after the zenith to the center of a tangent plane has been established. In between the zenith to the center of a, tan of a, of a horizontal tangent plane and flat out XYZ Cartesian coordinates, a totally unproven and previously debunked radius value is inserted. But bringing the zenith line through the tangent plane to meet all the other zenith lines from all the other tangent planes at the center of a pre-assumed globe earth. 
which by proxy creates diverging zenith angles, allowing for the false belief of a globe out reality while simultaneously allowing for geodetic surveying and GPS to continue to map out our world in flat out XYZ Cartesian coordinates and still claim a globe. It's a put on, it's a set up, it's a, it's a fix, it's not real, it's a pre-assumption. Thank you.